I'm Doug, your tech support representative here at Atlantic British. And in this video, we're going to touch base on the transmission uh, fluid and filter change kit that we have available through our maintenance and repair academy for the 03 to 05 uh, ZF5 speed used in the L322 full size Range Rover. Now, this is only for 03 to 05, which was a 5 speed, and it does require a regular change of fluid. Now we have uh, uh, recommended 75,000 miles change the fluid over. If you put your vehicle through harder service, do a lot of towing, or if you live in an excessively hilly area where you're constantly either climbing or descending, you might want to do this on a more regular basis, maybe closer to 60,000. But the kit, which you'll see here, which is on a sheet that is downloadable and printable from our website online, is the transmission service kit, T-R-A-N-S-M. 200 SKA and you'll see that it comes with five liters of the ZF lifeguard uh, Transmission fluid which is the best fluid to use in these transmissions a new filter new pan or a pan gasket Transmission filter retaining screws which are these two small small screws here uh, a new oil pan gasket and a drain plug You'll see you have everything shown here now. This is your here's your new o-ring for your filter and the five quarts should be more than enough to top the system back off and get it to the proper level along with a new plug which because you'll see a seal built into the back of the plug so when you take the original one out you want to check around the hole and make sure that that seal didn't stick in place it'll interfere with this one and you always want a new seal when you put the plugs on so this is our transmission kit we have available and in a minute we're going to raise this vehicle and we'll just give you some tips on how you can do the filter and fluid changeover on your full-size Range Rover so now you've seen the kit and we're going to give you just a basic rundown on how to do a transmission service on your L322. Essentially your pan is very easy access. There's no shields, there's no crossbars, it's right out in the open. What you have is approximately 21 small bolts that hold this pan in all the way around. You're going to need a, a number 25 Torx drive to remove them. I usually recommend your best best do, on, especially on these, do these on with a, a 3 8 drive which will uh, give you a little bit more torque and be able to crack them loose easier. You'll find some of them might be kind of snug and you almost feel like you're going to break it if it is really tight because you basically have a steel bolt and an aluminum housing, which is the case of the uh, transmission. You take a small punch and put it right on the face of the bolt and wrap it a few times with a hammer and normally that will break them loose enough where you can get them to back out. Now, before you even take those bolts out, you have a drain plug right here on the transmission pan. You'll need a number, or an eight millimeter Allen or a 516, so either one will work. Pull the plug, drain it out. This way you won't end up with a large mess once you do take the other 21 bolts out to drop the pan. Once the pan is out, you'll simply be looking at the bottom of the filter. And as you saw with the uh, initial picture with the kit, you have two small bolts that hold the filter in place. They sit at an angle. You take the two bolts out. Make sure you got a good sized pan because even when you drop that filter, some fluid is going to splash out and you really don't need to make a mess on the driveway floor. So, um, once you have that down, you're going to take the new filter, make sure you put the O-ring on the inlet, take the two new bolts, set it right back up in place, snug the bolts in, they don't have to be super tight, probably generally not more than about 15 foot-pounds of torque. You get a new gasket, you clean the old gasket off the pan and off the surface of the transmission, and uh, if it makes it a little bit easier, you can use, there's a number of different um, uh, sprays and adhesives out there, like called a high tack from Permatex, which you can spray on the surface of the gasket, let it get tacky, and then you can apply it to the pan. This way it'll hold it in place as you're setting the pan up. Run a couple bolts in to get things started. Run the rest of your bolts in, snug them all up nice and tight. Reinstall your drain plug. And then right here, just above my finger, is going to be your refill. That's an eight, also an eight millimeter. Now it's going to be really tight the first time you go to crack it loose. So I would probably recommend use a breaker bar with a little bit of length and in a good short socket so that you don't snap the, the socket apart. And then uh, using a suction gun or even now they have uh, some small 12 volt motorized uh, pumps that you can run the fluid in. Top this off until you have uh, fluid running out of the hole. Then you're going to start the vehicle. You're going to leave it in park. Let it run until it warms up, and then you're going to take that plug back out and then fill it until you get a basically a, a drip about once every second, and that's your fluid level. 
So, it's basically all you need to do to do a transmission service on your L322. Now this is the five speed that was used from 03 to 05. And uh, give a call to any of our knowledgeable salesmen at 1-800-533-2210. And thanks for watching.